is Gemrush better than Recharge Event? Should you spend money if you're a low spender? Because if you're a mid or high spender, of course, you're going to go full 10k gems. But if you're a low spender, that's the question. Should you spend your money during Gemrush, the new event? Let's discuss. Spartans, what is your profession? <laughs> I want to get this video out as quick as possible. Let's dive in immediately. First of all, the difference between Recharge and Gem Rush is that during Recharge event, you get Universal Legendary Commander Sculpture so that you can pretty much invest those sculptures into any commander you want. But with Gem Rush, you will get Choice Rewards. And what are these Choice? These are only commanders that you have already summoned. Now, I think this is pretty bad because I would love to summon commanders that I don't have already. Those are mainly MGE commanders from the events like these. Because if we take a look at our commanders... Let's go down. We still couldn't summon Henry, Gladius, Pakal, Bertrand, a monitor, Yadviga, etc. Because all these commanders are mightiest governor commanders. Because as a low spender, it is pretty much impossible for me to summon those commanders. So in my opinion, it is pretty unfortunate that we can only select commanders that we have already summoned. And obviously, these sculptures not being universal is also a big downside because... When you get universal sculptures, you don't have to spend on a specific commander. You can just use them on any commander you want. But during Gem Rush, obviously, you have to select. If you already summoned a commander and you are actively working on that commander, then I think this is great because the difference between Recharge and Gem Rush is that during this event, we get 2, 6, 13, whatever, 40. In total, you are going to get 40 sculptures for the commander of your choice. But during Recharge, even though those are universal legendary commander sculptures, you will only get 30 sculptures. So during this event, we are going to get extra 10 sculptures. For example, for my account, I'm working on XY and I'm working on Joan of Arc. Even though my Joan is 5115, we got super lucky. Still, eventually I want to expertise her, but I think I will first expertise XY and then I will go back to Joan of Arc. So for me, spending a little bit during this event could be okay. Another upside about Gem Rush is that you don't have to purchase certain number of gems in each day because during recharge you have to purchase 2500 gems every single day for five days first of all during gem rush you only need to recharge 10,000. but if you do recharge for full five days the amount you should recharge is 12,500. so gem rush is cheaper than recharge and as i said on top of that all you need to do is recharge 10k with whatever purchase you want so i think if you're in my shoes if you already summoned a commander and you are trying to work on him expertise him maybe get him to 5551 yes this event is a good time to spend but we should also do a quick calculation because some of you may not want to push all the way to 10,000 and you are trying to figure out what is the best value for minimum amount of spending now if you recharge 1,000 you will get two sculptures this means you need to recharge 500 gems per sculpture if you go to 200 then you are going to get six sculptures this means this time you will only recharge around 330 gems per sculpture but if you go to 4500 the value actually gets worse because 2000 gem 6 sculptures you are recharging 330 but 4500 in return you are getting 13 sculptures if we divide 4500 to 13 then you are recharging around 346 gems so the value gets worse but if you pass this and go to 7500 7.5k divided by 25 now this is the best value so far 300 gem recharge per sculpture and if you go all the way up to recharging 10,000 gems this is the absolute best value you are only recharging 250 gems per sculpture so don't go for 1,000 if you're going to go for minimal spending go to 2,000 and if you're going to pass that 2,000 mark please note that you need to go all the way to 7.5k to get the best value because 4,500 the third one has worse value than the second one the 2,000 one so you either go to second one the fourth one or all the way up to fifth one now what we're going to do is we are going to purchase this 30-day gem supply so that we can test one thing after we recharge and select the commander can i change that commander after claiming this first chest and choose a different commander for the second chest so let's recharge and test that all right recharge completed now let's select xy boom confirm and i'm going to confirm this first chest and i guess we are able to switch the commander for the second chest it immediately switches to john of arc so yes you can select different commanders for different chest tiers so that you can get bunch of sculptures 
for your other commanders if that's what you are trying to do for me right now what i'm trying to do is that i'm trying to work on my xy as i said so i didn't change that and i don't think that i will go to 7.5k or 10k so what i'm gonna do is i will just stop here and we also have this in search of wonders event for armaments what you need to do first is to select the formation i choose wedge most of us will probably choose wedge because this is the most common one it increases the skill damage so we choose wedge if we take a look at the rules, it says you can change your preferred formation during the event. Changing your formation will also change the armament set as your preferred rewards. Every 10 searches, you are guaranteed to receive a legendary armament. Every 40 searches, you are guaranteed to receive an inscribed legendary armament for your preferred formation. But the main problem is I think the only two ways to get compass is either purchasing this history hunter bundle which is something that I never purchased. It is for mid to high spenders or purchasing with gems in search of wonders right here. And each compass costs 500. But just in case, I took a look at the calendar to see if there are any other events that gives you compass. Compass flash, no seven day event. No compasses again. Yeah, it seems like the only way to get a compass for free to plays at least is purchasing them with gems. I'm going to try it for once. Let's get one compass and let's search. Okay, the animation is extremely sick. What is that? Holy. Okay, how do I... What is that? Like, is this what you get in usual? Or I was just extremely unlucky. Search one more. Oh, it's a legendary now. Volumes of... What are these rolls, bro? Wait, is it even for veg? It's for triple line formation. Then why did I even select this one? Or oh, you have a higher chance to get armaments. Man, I thought it was guaranteed to get a wedge formation. What the hell is this? Like when I took a look at the rules, I saw at the top it says inscribe legendary armament wedge 4%. So I didn't even bother going down because I thought everything was wedge because I've selected wedge formation. That is so bad. Is it even worth spending 500? Look, I'm going to get a better one with my travels. Watch this. Bjorn. Okay, Bjorn was pretty bad. The father of Bjorn, Ragnar, let's go. You gotta give me something. Come on, man. Okay, okay. Watch me get an inscribed legendary armament for Veg. With a free-to-play way. Boom. Oh, it's for Veg. It's inscribed. It's just not legendary. I take it. With the new system, we can just re-roll it. Because armor is good. Increased troop defense, 2.5%. Yeah, the rolls are bad. But at least it has a decent inscription. And I will get even a better one with Harold. Because all these three are vikings come on, viking. come on, viking. come on, man. okay we got nothing but at least we got a veg armament with a decent inscription about this event i don't know if you have a lot of gems yeah go ahead and spend them you know what i'm gonna do one more i i'm a, i'm an addict give me a legendary please oh it's another legendary what is that ah uh, this is not for veg eye of horus legendary for gathering what the Hope you guys found it useful or informative. If you did, a simple like and subscribe helps the channel a lot. I see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.